What's going on, everybody? This is Al from SLB06 Revival. And in the last video, we played Bowling Green, beat them. Probably won the MAC Conference with that win. I know we got a MAC Championship game. But they were, like, arguably the best team in the conference. And we showed that we are probably the best. The downside is we lost our quarterback, Courtney Brank, for the season with a torn rotator cuff. Today we're going to play Buffalo. We'll look at their stats real quick. Uh, they passed the ball pretty well. Everything else is just hodgepodge. We do have a little more talent than we do, and they've lost three in a row. Let's look at recruiting. And that's what worried me. The quarterback committed. Where is he at? He committed to Ohio State. Lance Muse. I just couldn't. My schedule was not in my favor. And Callahan, cornerback, committed to Michigan. That was just a tough sale. Just my schedule just did not allow me to get those guys in for a visit quick enough. So now you know. Try to schedule your home games on the back end. If you're in a conference where, for whatever reason, you have four straight away games like I do, you just got to hope for the best that so you can either get them to visit before that stretch or to hang on until that stretch ends. So we got very unfortunate there. We still have Lumpkin and a defensive tackle. We're going to put all of our points in the him. He's the only one that's left. We're still good with him. He doesn't like one of our pitches, but I still think we can sneak out maybe and get a commitment with him. But we've got to wait another week. So, again, just another downside to all that. I hate that. Looks like we're only going to get three guys at the most. Let's go to our roster real quick. Brant out for the season. We know this. So it's Blunt and Triplett. Triplett is still going to get the start. He's got the tad bit better arm. Not much, but just a tad bit better. And I'm going to let him go with it. And if he can't handle it, I'm going to put in Blunt. So it's going to be Blunt and Triplett for the rest of the way. And Merritt is going to be my hoss. So what my offense is going to look like, I mean, the, it's still going to be the ace offense. Nothing's going to change there. It's just I'm going to run a ton with Merritt and do play action with Triplett. I'm going to leave the drop back stuff to when I really need it. Not just on a second and four, hey, I just feel like doing a drop back. I'm going to kind of do away with that and just do run and play action. And then when the drop back is needed, I'll all certain third downs. Then I'll do that. Uh, and I'll sneak in some screens. The screen is going to be, we're going to treat it as a run play anyways. So hopefully nobody gets in trouble here. You know, I'm basically out of discipline points, and the NCAA bar is at half. That's another thing I really got to worry about. So my point distribution in the offseason, gosh darn it, it's going to get real funky. McKinney, look at my NCAA team interest. It keeps going up. I don't know what to do about that. We'll do two. That's I don't have any more points left, so we'll do two quarters. I mean, if we, if we can survive this season with no penalties, sanctions. Now, I don't know if you've ever if that's ever happened to you before. You may see it here because for whatever reason, I can't get that NCAA team interest down. Which means in the offseason, I'm going to have at least 33% or something going into my discipline points just so I can take this thing down as best as I can. Gosh, this season's gone downhill real quick. For us to be undefeated, it's really taking a nosedive. Recruiting's gone down a little bit. My quarterback is out for the season. NCAA may suspend me, may take scholarships away at the end of the season. So you're seeing all this live. It's just going to be kind of weird. It's never happened to me before because I'm usually good at discipline. But I always have enough points to use too. So we'll see what happens. We got a lot of wind on this one. Okay, look at their offense. They're running back 41. Looks like he's going to do a lot of the damage. Receivers. Got a decent little tight end. An average offensive line. Defense. Defensive line's okay. Two good linebackers. Their corners are terrible. 
terrible free safety, and I mean god-awful, and a bad strong safety. So I'm going to go after their safeties. So play action deep. I'm going to try to use as much of that as I can today while running the ball with merit. Seems like a simple game plan. We're ready to get this one underway. The teams are lined up for the opening kick. Gosh, what a season. This I just My biggest fear right now is the NCAA stuff. I've seen what happens if uh, the NCAA does some stuff to you. I mean, they'll cut half your scholarships in two years and stuff like that. I mean, it's pretty frightening. Okay, I think they're going to run the ball a lot with that running back, so we're going to do a lot of one high, especially if they – man, this ain't good. Make a play, somebody. Oh, my gosh, how in the world did he catch that? Oh, gosh. We'll go quarters. Well, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Tucker with four wide receivers. I swear that this game really screwed up my schedule. Having four straight. Wide open. So they stop him. So that really hurt my recruiting. Got quarterback problems. Potentially, we'll see. And, when you and two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. I may have some sanctions on me. So they're going to throw the ball all day, aren't they? The true freshman they're just going right down the field on me. We'll do a one high. Well, Lee, it's their first trip to the red zone today, and they haven't really done very well so far this season. Yeah, but my friend, today is a new day. Let's see if they can get it across the goal line and light up the scoreboard. Ooh, almost intercepted. So close. The ball is knocked to the ground. Players use anything they can. Going one wide receiver, so we'll do a 44. On the 12, and they can smell the goal line. The D-line shifts over. I'm going to do a weak, just in case to do counter. Intercepted. Big play by Slaughter. Take it to the house. He's gone. That's what we needed. Slaughter is finally an impact guy now that Brandt is out for the season. Much deserved impact. I think he was an impact guy last year until he got hurt. Was out for the year. Big play. We needed that. They was fixing the score. So now Merritt and Slaughter is going to really have to carry it for us. The rest of the way. I think the NCAA bar, I think it has to go all the way to the top or to the right in order for the NCAA to do something to you. So I got like a fourth of that bar left to use up. So we just got to hope nobody gets in trouble the next three games. But there's nothing you can do about that. I mean, it's just, it is what it is. Just got to hope for the best. I never would have thought that would happen. But the NCAA bar keeps going up on me. It doesn't matter how much I over-discipline. And I think what happened is, and you'll somebody make a play. Two impact guys in there. They should have made the play. Okay. I think I, I replaced Temple, and I think I carried over their quote-unquote cancer. I think they were high. They had a high NCAA bar. They shift on the defensive line. And the fact that I replaced them in the dynasty tells me that I probably took over their NCAA bar. I'm just guessing. Going with three wide. Let's do a fire two. It's third down and five to go. Ball in the 31. Tucker lines up in the shotgun. Whatever you do, do not throw to my left side or to your left side. I got two studs over there. Oh, draw. Good stop. I'm going to punt it. So my uh, points in the offseason may be like an even split, 30-30-30 or 33-33-33. Because I need, I got a lot of guys coming back. And I want to put a lot of points in the training of them. So we'll see what happens there. I still need to pick up like a solid 17, 18 guys to get close to 70 for the roster. So we'll see what happens there. I'm here to tell you this offseason will be interesting. I can't wait to see what happens. 
and it may be a disaster. Second and three coming up. But at least we'll learn. You'll get to see some interesting stuff live. All right, they're going man. Let's uh. Yale goes with the ace set. And they may be going zone here. Watch them go zone. Yeah, they're going zones. What I thought. I'll just bounce this to Merritt. Just play it safe. Just give it to him. They switched up their defense when I audibled. We'll do a dive. They're going man. Dime. I want to run to the left. Ooh. Good run there. And that one goes for a big, big first down. You know, every time you run the ball successfully like that, that let's attempt a play action. A That's when you go to the air, my friend. Over the top. They always run man when I flip it on this hash. I don't know if that's just a, a tick or something, but they're going. Let's see. I may go deep with slaughter here. Make a play, slaughter. All intercepted. Gosh. He was just sort of sitting there. I threw it way too soon. I'll show you what happened here. I was fixing to get sacked. This really isn't triplets fault, I don't think. So I was fixing to get sacked right here. I mean, I had to throw it. I threw it way too soon. So basically, he got double teamed. That other defender who was defending Cooper came up with it. Otherwise, I probably would have been a touchdown. So that's more my fault than his. So I'm not too upset over that. We'll just put eight guys in the box. Good stop there. I'm going to just continue to run one high. They're going to go ace normal again. The bull. Come out in a two tight end set. Tucker, little talk to the right. And he's going to throw. Ah, I couldn't make the tackle. It picked up about six there. Going, hmm, I guess we'll go 44. It's third down and three to go. Ball on their own 16. I'll just hope for the best here. Lines up in a goal line set. Yeah, nothing I can do about that. That's just a good pickup. I'll stay in one high of the 44. I need to run more 44 anyways. Technically, that's my best unit. That's a good catch. Now they're going three wide, so we can go back to the 43. For him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of ten times. They'll work from the shotgun. They'll throw on first down. Throws it to the outside. Ooh, almost intercepted. Any one of the three could have caught that. Not only that, but as you saw, he also made a very athletic move to get to the ball. So it's second and ten. And this is the sixth play of the drive. We'll see if we can force a long third down. That ain't good. He got him beat bad. Yep. That's just a good throw. He beat both of them. Horn could not do anything about that. So they're probably going to score the time this thing up off that stupid turnover. Gosh. Let's see if they can take this one in for six. Well, that was a bad mistake. Oh, gosh. All right, now it's tied up. We'll go on offense and see if we can score. We can't have turnovers. Last thing you need with average quarterback play is turnovers. And even though that was still my fault, I failed. You still don't need them. I'm still going to do a lot of play action, especially against this poor second or the safeties. Let's see if Williams could do something here. I stepped out of bounds. Let's go with... 
I have her going man on this one, so this may not work out too well. Let's see if Slaughter can make a play. Big play. We needed that in the worst way. That was a good throw by Triplett. I don't care how good of a cornerback or safety you are, you cannot stop that because he had the step on him. And he's too fast. He's got 99 speed, so, yeah. Needed one of those guys had a chance. So we got the lead back. Now we'll just try to get back on defense and see if we can stop them. Not a bad kick. Probably returnable, though. Good stop there. Not a lot of trouble scoring the last time they had the ball. Three wide. Uh, I'm going to do play at, or a zone blitz. I think they may go play action. The ball. Come out in the shotgun. Going gun, though. A little bit harder to sack a guy in the gun. Or you could just do that if they go play action. <laughs> Three wide. Let's just do a one high. It's second down and a long ways to go. Ball on the 18-yard line, and the leader of the defense at corner is in the zone right now. Ooh, almost intercepted by Campanella. So close. I'm gonna go just basic cloud. They're gonna go deep on me. I'm afraid. Passing situation here on third and long. Ball on the 18. Let's see if we can keep everything in front of us. He drops back, steps up, looking. He fires left side. Make a play. Got a hand Big up. play by Horn, by Slaughter. That was all Slaughter right there. Got a hand on it. Let Horn get it. It's a big one. play. Good deal. It's what we needed. That was a good tag team effort right there. We'll watch this again. They're going deep on us now, I'm here to tell you. That's just good team effort right there. All right, let's do a PA rollout. They're going man. This may go to Williams if they don't bring both safeties up. Both safeties coming up. Make a play, Cooper. Big play. Perfect throw by Triplett. Yes, Triplett. You're doing good so far. Deep ball city for both teams, except my deep ball's a little bit better than theirs. We're playing better defense than they are. That's just a good throw right where I needed to be. So maybe Triplett is a better deep ball guy than the short guy. You know, those curl flats aren't the easiest things to throw to. Especially the curl. So this run play action's working right now. That's how you, one thing you have to figure out. Even though you have a pocket passer and you think he can make every throw, sometimes a quarterback can make just certain throws better than others for one reason or another. And it seems like Triplett may be a better deep ball guy than a short West Coast guy. But there's still a lot of game to be played, and we'll see how he can handle certain things. But so far, the run-play action combo is going to work pretty well, at least in this game. Good swap by myself. We'll do a one high. Let's see where they're going to shift. Going to go with a draw. Good stop there. Third and long. Four wide. We'll just go back to cloud. Third and eight. Ball in the 23. Tucker lines up in the shot. Keep everything in front of us. Maybe we can force another turnover. Left One draw. Good stop. Ooh, Neely. I'm glad I took him over. Fourth and inches. Punt it. Thank you. That was a big play right there. We'll get the ball back. 
He gets it off. That wind is really kicking. He hauls it in at the 30-yard line. Okay, let's give the ball to Merritt. We'll just run a dive, spread everybody out. They're going man nickel. Their strength is their linebackers for sure. Crap, crap, crap. Oh, wow, what a play. What a play. Somehow, someway, we got out of that. <laughs> I'm shocked we didn't turn the ball over there. Let's do another dive. Try to pick up the first or go in zone. I think I'm going to run. No, we'll run left. Wow, that's just good defense. They came blitzing hard. Uh, third and five. Okay, we're going to tamper curl flat. This is what I mentioned earlier. We'll see if they can handle this. I'm going to have Slaughter go deep just in case. They're going one high. Just a bad throw. At least it wasn't intercepted. So we're going to punt it. See, his accuracy just wasn't very good there on the short stuff, but the deep ball, you know, a little bit better right now. Oh, this ain't a good kick at all. Oh, this ain't – okay, it's going out of bounds, thankfully. And this one's going to go out of bounds at the 14-yard line. And now we'll see the offense come out of the We'll do a 44. They'll take over at the 17. I'm going to stay on this center and try to control the A gap. The Bulls come out in a two tight end set. Throw short. Oh my gosh, where's the defense? Gosh, there's nothing you could do about that. You just got to hope somebody makes a play because you can't see off screen. My linebacker got ran over by the quarterback. That's embarrassing. We'll go one high to 43. Ball on their own 40. Number 41 is in the zone and looking to make something happen. Going weak wide trips. Oh, they're going option. Good defense. Just nowhere to go. And they stop him on the option. Well, has a nice job here by the defender. We'll stick with one high. And breaking that play up. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 37 yard line. Buffalo comes to the line with three wide. The one draw. All right, third and ten. We'll probably go to Cloud. Yeah, they're going four wide, so we'll go Cloud. See if we can force a punt. They come out with four wide out. Make a play. Ooh, just bad throw. Overthrown. Good deal. So we'll get the ball back, see if Slaughter can do something with it. There's still plenty of time in the second half or second quarter to do some damage. Buffalo lining up the punt. Church gets it off. That's a good kick. Maybe able to do something with it though. Just don't fumble it. That could have been bad. Okay. Let's go play action. Let's do a PA tight end choice. We're going zone, so I'm going to motion slaughter over. Hopefully they go cover two. That way I can maybe give this to Williams. Yep, cover two. Ah, oh, and he dropped it. <laughs> I'll be. He dropped it. Uh, let's just do a dive for now. I'm afraid we're going to go in a third and long situation. But we'll see what happens. They're going zone. They come out with three wide receivers. Good blocking everywhere. Pick up the first. Big play by Merritt. We'll do another dive. No, let's do a toss. We haven't done any tosses. We're going zone. When you break one like that, you got to give a lot of credit to the offensive line. We'll go right. Great run by Merritt. Now let's do a screen. I have it on my mind, so let's just go ahead and do it. We'll do it at a wide trips. Surely Triple can handle a screen. With three wide receivers. And they try to set up a screen. Great play there. Pick up a first. Great call. 
gotta love the screen pass. Now I'm gonna go for play action. Let's do it out of and I found that 80% of the time slot or going zone. By the from this will probably go to Cooper now, or Booth. You can peel a blocker back. Cover two. Bad throw. Eh, he, I got hit as soon as I threw it, so that really wasn't his fault. That's just a good play by their part. Uh, let's run another toss. They're going man. Going 5-2. I'm okay with that. Let's run right. Get away from that impact guy. Big play. Oh, and I stepped out of bounds. I'll be. Big play by Merritt, though. Let's run a dive. We're going zone. I'm okay with that. Shifting that way. Looks like I got no choice but to run right. Just go for the end zone. Just follow your blocks and cut up field against zone. It's a good drive right there. Just let Merritt pretty much handle everything. But Triple done a good job on the screens. He done a perfect throw to Williams on that cover two zone beater, but Williams just dropped it. So far, I've been very pleased with Triplett. I think he's done just fine. And that one interception, I'll take the blame on that one. So, so far, so good on offense. So that's the beauty of the ace offense. You can just change it up however you see fit, and the offense doesn't really change. That's what's great about it. Ooh, perfect touchback. Okay. Four wide, we'll do quarters. We're going gun spread. Going halfback, off tackle. Somebody make a tackle. Slaughter, of course. It's either Slaughter or Horn who's going to make the plays. Four wide again. We'll just stick with quarters. It's first and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. Buffalo lines up in a shotgun set. Drops back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Uh-oh. Big play by Neely. That a boy, Al. Great play. I'm on the 34. If it was uh, we're off a turnover. So let's go. Oh, gosh. I don't know if this is going to work all that. I mean, they always go man on it. Or they're going zone. So we'll see if we can give this to Booth or Williams. Cover two. Perfect throw. Oh, and he got out of bounds. Oh, come on, Williams. Great throw by Triplett, though. Right to the sideline. And he stepped out of bounds. Great play, though. And the clock's not running, so we'll just hurry up and just get to the line. We'll definitely run to the left. Offense is clicking right now. Good deal. I'm really impressed with Triplett. He's really handling the offense. His deep ball is killer right now. Everything's just on point. I'm going to try to stay away from the curl flats until I absolutely need to. I just don't know if he can handle that curl. So now it's an utter blowout, which means I can maybe bench some guys in the second half. I still don't have the depth to do mass subs yet. I will here in about a year or so, hopefully. Maybe next year. I don't have a lot of guys leaving. All right, we'll go 44 with a one high. Do some shifting. Now let's do weak. They may run a counter. Nope, we're going right up the gut. Right side. I still have decent. I picked up five yards. They're going three wide. I'm going to do a blitz. It's second down and five to go. Ball in the 25. They're going to go out of the gun, aren't they? We'll still attempt this. Oh, I had him. And we still intercepted. <laughs> That's okay. That's I'm fine with that. Okay, I'm on the 25. Let's go here. And we'll do PA rollout. 
They're going man. I thought I was on the right hash, but I'm just a little bit over. That's okay. They're still going man, so this will probably either go to Cooper or Williams. They're going one high. Good throw. Back got sacked. I had to throw it off the quick. So we're going to run some clock and just try to get in the end zone here. They're going man, dime. I'm going to run to the left. Let's motion slaughter over. Give me some more space. Hopefully my left tackle and left guard can handle their business. Easy. It's too easy. Even though it was man, I normally would cut outside, but the hole was there. It's great blocking. Another 40-point half. Just incredible. Even with triplet, I just wasn't expecting that. Of course, Buffalo is not the best team in the world. on the extra point. Less than a minute remains in the second quarter, and our score is Yale 42, Buffalo. So I'll definitely not play triplet. I'm a, I can bridge triplet. I'd rather have Blunt in there for my backup. And I'll bench Merritt. I can't bench Slaughter because I have him in formation subs. But I can probably take him out on defense. I may do that. Get Horn out. Of course, with Horn, he has no backups to speak of. Let's see if we can make a play here. Good stop off the weak side. We'll do another one high. At a 4-3. The bull come out in a two tight end set. And they may just run it here. Just try to get the half. Good stop there. He should have pitched it. That would have been a big game. We'll go Clad, but I'm quite positive they're not going to snap the ball. The bull set up in the gun. Nope, they're not going to do it. All right. As good as a first half as I could have asked for. It being the, with the circumstances and all. So we'll go to in-game strategy. We're going to go to depth chart. I'm going to branch out for the season. I need to just take him out altogether. Let's put in Blunt. Merritt is done for the day. He don't need to play no more. Uh... Corner-wise, just so I don't have to do a mass sub because I just don't have the depth, I'm going to do Cade and Neely and just run nothing but 4 3 and 44. That puts Slaughter in the slot. If you remember, I had Slaughter in the slot like last year and it worked pretty well. But now I really don't have to. I mean, he's just shutting down the entire left side nowadays. And that's. I, I got to keep Horn in there. I mean, you can't have a 48 overall free safety. Back there, just not worth it. So I'm gonna leave that as is. Buffalo. So I may need to recruit two free safeties next year because Horn may leave early. I don't blame him if he does. I mean, I'll still try to convince him to stay. Not hard, but we'll see what happens there. Again, this off season is gonna be interesting. Let's just run a dive with Bowie, and I think I forgot to put Watson. No, I did it. I've done that right. We're going zone, so we'll just run to the left. Let's pick up the first. Let's go up to B-gap. We'll run a toss. Going zone. I'm going to run left. They come out with a big set. Our bird's going to run clock. This may be a boring half, but I'm just trying to get out of here without any injuries and just get the win so we can move on because we got a big game next week with BYU. Not, I mean, we got one prospect coming in, but I was hoping it was going to be three. Oh, that's good defense right there. 
a corner. Contained well. Second and nine. Let's go with... Let's do slot clear out. Second and nine coming Let's see up. if Blunt can Ball make a throw here. They're going man, so I got plenty of options. This may go to Cooper or Booth. But if both safeties come up, I may just bounce this to Williams. Oh, good defense. I thought he had a leg up on him. Third and nine. If he doesn't get a pick, he Let's just throw deep outs. This is either go to my tight end or to Slaughter. Let's see if Blunt can make this throw. Great throw. Right up the middle. I had plenty of time to block, but that may be why. That is probably a holding. Gosh darn it. Now it's third and forever. No wonder I had time to throw. Okay. Let's do slot crosses. Going zone. So I may just go to my deep or backside post. See if Cooper can make this catch. No, nope, going to get sacked. My, both my tackles just got blown up. Oh, well. That could have been a good drive. And I remember when they were recruiting him years ago. They almost stuck him at fullback. So we'll just burn some clock here. It's not going to be much of a pun, as you can tell by the wind. This isn't going to go very far. And this is going to go to the left. <laughs> yeah, it's going to go out of bounds at least. Terrible kick, though. Look at that. They only got 35 yards to go. All right, we'll go with a one high. Let's see. We'll do some shifting. That's a good run there. We'll go quarter since they're going four wide. And they're going nickel. Totally forgot about it. I thought I put Slaughter over. Did I do that? We'll check the corners again. I got Slaughter at the corner. Oh, well. They moved him over to his spot. So it's third and short. Third and one. Maybe next time he'll get it out to the back so he can do something with it. Look at the 44. I'll tell you, as an offense, you've been pretty successful if you can even sniff the end zone against these guys. Whoa, they're one of the best in the country. Just look at those numbers. Good play. That's that same fullback over. He's not your ordinary fullback. This guy can move. You bet he can. We'll stick with the 44. He's a heck of a football player. They need to get him some more carries. The offense got six the last time they were inside the 20. Let's see what they do here. They go with a toss. Touchdown. That's just good. Good run. Good blocking everywhere. So we'll get back on offense and see if we can run some clock and maybe score. One curl flat that I haven't ran hardly any this year is the one at an ace big tight end wide receiver. I, and the reason why is because I just forget. <laughs> you got there's so many plays available to you that you can run that it's just easy to forget to do. I may try that later on. It's that play right there, a curl flat. I just forget to run it. It happens. All right, they're going zone. I don't know why they came to me. Ooh, I'm to have to bounce to the outside on that one. Curly on. Oh. They went in zone, but I had to bounce to the outside. Let's try a toss play. They're going nickel, man. I can hurry up to the line and see if they're... Okay. Yep, we'll run to the right and see if we can get some yardage. I'm guessing that linebacker is going to be all over this. Maybe he'll get caught up or blocked by somebody. Hot, hot, hot. 
Bowie's just don't have the speed. It's a good run, though. Picked up big yards there, and he's going to have a first down. Yeah, All right, let's there. This guy does a good job of reading his block spruce it up a little bit. Let's run a play-action play. It's first and ten. Just a little roll out or going zone. This will go to Cooper or Booth. The Bulldog. Come out Cover three, three to Booth. Cover two to Cooper. Cover four can go to Booth as well. Cover two. Great throw. Oh, almost got a touchdown. Great play. That's a great throw by Blunt. Great play. Almost got the touchdown. Shoestring tackle. We'll see if we just get the touchdown here with Bowie. When performance matters the most. Let's see if they can punch this one in. Oh, I've been very pleased with our quarterbacks today, mainly triplet. He's if he can throw like he has been, then I think we may stay undefeated this year. Bowie. That's just good defense. Nothing really there to work with. We'll try another dive. If not, then we may do a, a toss and then maybe just kick a field goal. They're going zone here, so maybe I can find a crease up the middle. Ooh. Yeah, just be patient. <laughs> Good deal. Get back on defense. Try to stop him. Then get back on offense and run more clock. Ooh, close. So as I've said several times to this video and a little bit towards the end of the last video is this season comes down to three weird things. You know, my quarterback, Brant, going out, recruiting, took a hit with those two guys committing to Michigan and Ohio State. Couldn't get them in in time to visit. And more importantly is what the NCAA may do to me at the end of the season. We got to pray that I can just hang on to the end of the season. That way I can just absolutely load up on points to lower that bar. Because if I cut down, if I get cut down on scholarships, that's gonna be bad. I don't know if I'm good enough to survive that. I mean, when you don't have enough scholarships to give out, I mean, it's hard to beat anybody. So we just gotta pray that nobody gets into any trouble the rest of the season. And when I get into next season, and I have all those points to work with. Then I can really over discipline those kids. I mean, just put three, four game saying, you know, suspensions on them for them looking at somebody wrong. I mean, just really over discipline. Whatever it takes to get that bar down. Oh, gosh, he's gone. Oh, he got stank. Pick up the first. We'll do a blitz. They always go gun when I. Go with this blitz. Back to pass. It right side. Good stop there. Only picked up a few. A just about three yards there. Three yards. Going four wide. Let's just do quarters at a nickel. It's second down and seven to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. The bull with four receivers. Drops back to pass. Wide open. They had another guy open across the middle. He ran a good route so they was going to pick up yardage one way or another. Okay to move the ball go 44, third and two. Looks like they're going to go goal line on us. They shift down the defensive line. Maybe we can get a stop here. If I had to guess, they'll go to the fullback. Yep, I was right. First down. They've gone to him several times today. Yeah, Brad, this kid is a hard-nosed football player. He gives them that kind of effort on every single play. They shift on their defensive front. Go weak side just in case they go counter. I don't think they've run much counter today other than their fullback overs. 
Uh oh. Good stop by Horn in the open field. We've pretty much contained that dude for the most part. It's he's got like seven yards of carry. I mean, he really hasn't broke one yet. Get eight guys in the box. The bull come out in the ace formation. Oh. Henderson. I thought they was going to play action there. That's why I stayed back. For a few yards. You know, when you have a guy that's another one high. Are so consistently, it sure takes some of the pressure off the passing game. Number 41 is dangerous. Let's see if they put the ball in his hand. Going counter. Brings him down. Good tackle the there. Now it's what? Second edge of second and six. We'll stick with one high. Six to go. This is the ninth play of this drive. Three wide outs to the right side. Good tackle. That's just a good rump. And Kate is hurt. Elbow. <laughs> oh, gosh. I don't have any backups, or I would put them in. I guess Slaughter's got to play now. They finally put in their backup. Excellent play by the defense that time as they swallowed them up before. Three wide. I'm just gonna stay one high. Like they devoured him. He had no shot of breaking. No reason not to. It's second down and ten to go. This is the eleventh play of this drive. Buffalo lines up with three receivers. The one draw. Good stop there. Now it's third and long. Maybe I can throw a fire two on him here. And they're going four wide. But Neely is still hurt. So let's just do the fire two. Let's see what happens with it. I mean, Cade's still hurt. So I got to stay in the 4 3. He drops back. Wide open. Ooh, just a bad throw, thankfully. Fourth and 12. They'll probably go for it. Yeah, they're going to go for it. We'll just run the same thing. Cade is out for the game. No big deal. I'm glad I came back down to tackle him. That could have been bad. Let's just run dives and just be done with this. And get out of Buffalo with a win. We'll run left. That's where our strength is at. Ooh, good defense. I should have cut up on the other side, but that was just a good play by that defensive tackle. And the big fella did a heck of a job. We'll just run another dive. They're not going to spread out. He doesn't plug up holes. He plugs up the hole. We're going to run right, though. Yo. They come out with four wide out. I think they were going zone. We'll just try to cut up field. We may have a third and long situation. Good play there. Just need one more yard, so let's try. Do this, then we can take a knee from here on out. Merritt only had 10 carries, but he done everything he needed to. Pick up 100 yards, three touchdowns. Just the best player on the field. Let's see. Let's just get the first here. They'll call a timeout if I don't. Ooh, just enough. The defense tackle's been playing pretty good. Not good enough, though. All right, take a nail in this thing. So now we got BYU. We got the prospect coming in for a visit. Pray just nobody else gets in trouble. And see if we can try to win that game. We'll take one knee here. There is nobody in the crowd. That's a good victory to have when you go on the road and force everybody to go home early. So, Merritt, yes, he was the MVP, but I thought Triplett really made a difference there. He just made some good throws. I was real pleased with that. I'm going to check the stats real quick. I'm curious to see 
And this one what our yardage was look like. Just team wise. Three hundred and eighty four. We get offense our defense gave up a little more yardage than I expected. They had a hundred and sixteen yard rushing, but they got a pretty decent running back. But we just played a whole lot better. We had two hundred and thirty yards passing. That's one of the higher games we've had. McKinney was not injured. He was in trouble. Okay, so come on back. We're going to take on BYU. They're having a bad year, so maybe we can beat them. They got more talent than we do, but we'll just see what happens. Big thing is, just try to survive these next two games and the bowl game and the car. Oh, I got four games left. Oh, it just now occurred to me. I got these two games, the MAC championship, and then the bowl game. All with hopes if nobody else gets in trouble. Otherwise, I'm going to be in big trouble next season. But we'll see what happens. So come on back, and we'll take on the Cougars, and I'll talk to you later.